Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe. Some of you may know me as of course Ryan. I'm right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, let's get into this, okay? Now, TEPCO has come out and basically they're begging for the international community to finally come in here and start fully monitoring the problem and fully starting to get this horrible, horrible situation at Fukushima under control if it's even possible at this point. Now let's look at some um, quotes from TEPCO. Okay? Now TEPCO's Vice President, Mr. Zengo Aizawa, has said, Many other countries outside of Japan have experienced decommissioning reactors. So we hope that we can consult them more and utilize their experience. In that sense, we need support, not only from the Japanese government, but from the international community to do this job. Now, that's a very polite way of them saying, we don't know what we're doing and we're finally willing to admit it. Now, decommissioning the reactors, um... We're not even close to that point, okay? Not even close to that. There's so many things going on at that plant that are completely out of control that um, they need help getting the situation under control first. Now, why did they finally come out and make this admission that they need help so badly? Well, um, the reason for this is because uh, one of the uh, 1,060 uh, temporary tanks they're using to store the highly contaminated water. Uh, I started discharging as much as 300 tons of radioactive fluid containing large amounts of highly radioactive cesium. Now anyone who's been keeping up with this whole thing knows exactly how dangerous cesium is and knows exactly what will happen if we keep having these massive leaks of this radioactive water that's coming from everywhere in that area. We know what the long-term effects are going to be. All right? Now, this also leads into something else we need to look at here. The uh, Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Agency has come out and upgraded Fukushima, the Fukushima leak, to level 3. Now, level 3 is a serious incident when you talk about um, nuclear power plants. You can go worse, but not much. All right? Now let's look at a few things that have been said here. Now, the regulatory agencies, this comes after their criticism of nuclear, of TEPCO, after we know the, um, the TEPCO acknowledged that the three, one of the 300 ton containers, all right, which contains about 3,000 liters or 80,000 gallons, that leak probably began nearly a month and a half before it was actually discovered on August 19th. Now, in a meeting with uh, agency officials and experts, TEPCO said the radioactivity near the leak, uh, leaky tank, and exposure among patrolling staff started to increase around early July. They didn't tell anybody about this. And there's been no signs whatsoever uh, that anyone tried to find a source of their leak before it was discovered. So all this time, we've kept talking and talking and talking about TEPCO saying, oh, we got leaks, but we're trying to find it. We don't know the source. Well, that's because nobody was looking for the source at all. TEPCO just puts its hands up in the air and says, oh, we don't know. Okay, if you don't know, you have to find out. you got to take it serious. And so far, you know, all of us who have been following this, reporting on this, and trying to get the word out about this, is very clear to us. And TEPCO does not take his situation seriously. It's like a joke to them. And the more joking, joking they take the issue, the more of a joke they become. And we've been pushing, pushing, pushing. 
pressuring these people. But finally, admit this, that they need help and they don't know what they're doing. We've all been saying they don't know what they're doing. But it's worse now because they're admitting that not only do they not know what they're doing, but they're not doing anything seriously to try to discover these problems and fix them. It's, ah, uh, you know. Now, TEPCO also acknowledged that only two workers were assigned to check all 1,000 storage tanks at the plant during the um, their twice daily two hour walk and they were not carrying dosimeters. <laughs> Seriously. All right, they send people out there to look at this stuff in a highly radioactive area. I mean, they're wearing the protective suits, all right? But they're not carrying dosimeters. They're not even keeping record of what's going on. It's just, you know, yeah. So, yeah, now it's a level three. It's serious stuff. And TEPCO's had to come out and said, yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Okay? But let's look at this a little bit more to find out why. Look at why. TEPCO behaves like this. And why? TEPCO takes everything as a joke. They don't keep proper safety standards. They don't even try. And all these things. It comes down, guys, to the inherent contradictions in, in capitalism itself. The broad, big contradictions, okay? And the contradiction that we see constantly happening here of TEPCO is that TEPCO's goal is to restart nuclear power plants. They don't want nuclear power to go from Japan. Because it makes them lots of money, and they've put lots of investment and time into it to build these things, build the infrastructure. Uh, if you look way, way deep into my videos I've uploaded, you'll find these things where I'm talking about all the corruption and greed that went on, to all the money they spent to pay off people. Yeah, okay? So, dig those up. Check out my channel, subscribe, you'll find those. You'll have a lot of fun looking at those. It'll be highly interesting to you and lots of informative. But that's the inherent contradiction here. It's the overall problem of capitalism. The contradiction between the need for profit and the, contra and, but, and the contradiction between the needs and benefit of the people. All right? And this is coming to a head. All right? Now, if it gets to the point of height, the highest point of the contradiction, we'll see a break in it, and we'll see a sudden change. And it looks like we may be reaching that point with TEPCO here. We may see a change. Now, I don't know. I still want to be hopeful, all right, that finally we'll get the right people in here, the right experts in here, and we'll start really dealing with this problem because it's, guys, Fukushima is getting to the point of no return. All right, they've got to get this under control. All right, so you know, leave some comments, comment box below. I'll put some links to a few things in the description box. I'll spread this around. If the first time you've ever seen me on on any video, please subscribe. All right, and follow me, and we'll work this out together. We'll research together, and we can. Find out what's going on together. And we can defeat this together. And we can survive this together. Until next time, this is me, your good buddy John Dole, checking out.